Third floor concession alley at the leftover deli and welcome back to more Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth. Here we are about to watch the stroll known as Why a Festival. <sighs> First a haunted house, now in an outdoor festival. For crying out loud. This is the craziest cultural festival I have ever heard of. <sighs> I guess anything goes now. Huh? Why a festival though? Not saying I don't like festivals, but... First it was Alice in Wonderland, then a group date cafe, a haunted house, and now a festival. There doesn't seem to be any pattern to the theming. Then what the hell does it all mean? Not quite. I believe it's a bit premature to judge. <sighs> we don't really know what this place is to begin with. I thought it was like Tartarus with the shadows around and all. But this isn't the dark hour. And it ain't like the world inside the TV like you guys were talking about, right? Mm. Yeah, none of us got here by coming through a TV. However... Though this place does share some similarities with the TV world, like the lobby we entered through, uh, the Junez TV. This ordinary culture festival serves as a central hub. The displays that have become labyrinths are like the victim locations that stem off from it. So those displays are like Princess y Yukiko's castle and Kanji sauna. Mm -hmm. A sauna. What's up? Hey, that don't. They ain't gotta know about that stuff. <laughs> the sharpest difference from the TV world, though, is that there are no victims here. In the TV world, each location is formed from the emotions of the ones dropped inside. At the center of these locations, we always find the victim along with their shadow. If this place was the same, we should have found people like that. Yes. Precisely, but we've found... Alright, but what we found thus far aren't people, but objects. The first one was a rabbit doll, the next one was a toy ring, and the third was a lock of hair. Those sound like stuff a grade school kid would have. Something like Ray, because Ray sounds like a freaking grade school kid. <laughs> But we haven't found any grade school kids here. Gray sounds like a, a grade school kid. But you know what? I'm going a little bit too far. She's like, what? Middle school? Or excuse me. High school? First year? <sighs> we're not yet ready to figure this out, I think. But that's what we're investigating for, right? We'll get it eventually. <laughs> yeah, that makes it easier. Oh, I would ask that you use your head a little more, though. Whoa! What? Uh, right. <laughs> You pass some time with your companions. Companions. Alright, I want glasses. Who wants glasses? Second floor display hall. Teddy Mitsuru and some others are having a heated discussion about something. Hmm. Revisiting the subject of glasses, I'd like for you to give it some serious thought. Hmm. You mean using our glasses in that dark hour thingy? Yes. Correct. Moving about during the dark hour is more draining than it is in everyday life. You mentioned feeling a similar exhaustion when you first entered the TV world. Yes, we did. Without Teddy's glasses to see through the thick fog, we got very ill very fast. <laughs> My craftsmanship saved the day. I don't know if those glasses would be as effective in the dark hour, but it's still worth trying. Mm. But even though this place has shadows too, we're okay without those glasses. Let me see. True. What could be going on here? Well, there is no way I'd turn down a request for Mitchan herself. Ta -da! Spare glasses. Is he gonna give her the goofy ones? Yep. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, you have a spare. Excellent. I'll try them on at once and. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. These frames. You still have more of those party glasses? I make tons of spares for my best design. <laughs> Those friends have a nose guard on them, which makes them very useful. <laughs> huh? A nose guard? Huh. <laughs> Yukiko's trolling Mitsuru, dude. <laughs> they help lighten the mood, too. <laughs> Yo, she's trolling. I can't believe Yukiko's trolling Mitsuru. Is that so? Still, this is simply... Well, if it will make our forays into that tartar, it's more comfortable. I'll gladly wear them. <laughs> oh, hey, nice to see you guys here. Junpei has stopped by. For some reason, he's already wearing the party glasses. You got a pair of those party glasses too, Mitsuri Senpai? <laughs> We're a matching set then. 
Hmm. Thank you, Teddy. I have these. I'll have these taken apart and analyzed. <laughs> You're not gonna wear them? There's no reason to. I see no need to wear them here. What if these don't have any effect in the dark hour? That's not my responsibility. <laughs> you enjoy some time with your companions. She's seen Junpei with those glasses and said, nah, nah, that's that stuff I don't like. So, what we're gonna do now, we're actually gonna do a request that revolves around something with Elizabeth in, I, I believe, Elizabeth, Elizabeth and Theo, because it, it says something about escorting. It was a quest about escorting Elizabeth, I believe. Elizabeth Welcome. and Theo again. Da, 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 da. Please escort us. Escort my sister and me and see to it we are satisfied. So Theo and Elizabeth. Are you sure you would like to accept this quest? Ever since coming to this world, I've worked non-stop on healing, research, requests, and going to stalls. Stalls? My sister has been stuck in the velvet room as well. Oh, what pitiful lives we sisters lead. Yep. Wink. Wink. What pitiful lives we sisters lead. Elizabeth continues stealing a glance at you. Sounds like a personal problem to me, man. <laughs> why I have decided to take some time off to fully appreciate this culture festival. I wish to have you as our guide. Still, such desire cannot be held back for long. If you leave this request be for too long, then my sister and I will sadly go about our wild merrymaking. That is, if you are curious what the reward will be, I suggest that you complete it sooner rather than later. Try talking to Elizabeth by selecting the straw option from the menu. Also, it looks like though this request has a time limit. Be careful not to let it pass. You better do these quests, boy. You thought you was going to do it on your time? Don't you doing it on our time. Time request. Time request. Well, I should have got healed. I'll, I'll heal. You know what? Before I forget, I'd rather heal right now. Because I'll probably end up forgetting after this longer request. I'm pretty sure this one is looking like a longer request for us. Look at all that money. All that money, honey. Da, 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 da. So we gotta go stroll and assist Elizabeth and her sister. I, I thought it was Theo. I thought it was Theo who made the request. So never mind. But anyway, elevator escort. Let's do it. On the third floor in front of the fortune teller, after you spoke with Elizabeth, she went to go get Margaret. Pardon the wait. I went to fetch my sister. I do apologize for the odd request. We wish to explore a little as a breather, but we are unfamiliar with such places in the real world. Dear sister, there is no need to worry. This man is an extraordinarily skilled guide. <laughs> really? I'm certain he will understand the implication of our words and arrange things to take our minds off our work. Is that so? Then I shall leave things to you. Man, they trying to make him sound like a gigolo or something. <laughs> there may be additional rewards in accordance with how well you meet our expectations. Hmm. Well then, let the tour begin. You decide to talk a walk down... What? You decide to talk or walk down a concession alley? Now, I'm sure that's a spelling mistake. That's a... <laughs> Look at that. I think they meant to say, you decide to take a walk down concession alley. I ain't got my glasses on, but I know that's a fucking mistake. <laughs> the third floor concession alley in front of the leftover deli. Hold on. Is there takoyaki here? Yes, there is. Conquered every single flavor of it after all. You probably couldn't guess to look at me. I most certainly could. I'm interested in the that which is inside the takoyaki you and Theo keep telling me about. In the that? In the that? What is that? If I recall, this ingredient was in the takoyaki served in Iwatorai. Unfortunately, that was not used in this world's takoyaki. What is that? Oh, is that so? 
Well, that does make logical sense. But to make up for it, even though that isn't in this world's takoyaki, they used you know what in it instead. What are they saying? What? They substituted you know what for that? What? Th then what of that's qualities? What happens to it? What about this? Can it get with that? that? Is most likely already. If it can't get with this, can it get with that? Uh, I could probably get with this. I could probably get with that. Offense. Such mercy. With this? That's where it's at. I know too well what you mean. What the hell? You have no idea what they're talking about. So what is that already? Yeah, that's pretty tasty. First of all, I don't even know what that is, so what is that? You have heard the phrase, ignorance is a miss. All I can say is that is that. Is it all that? Elizabeth cheerfully dodges the question. How dare you dodge my question? What is that over there? I'm going out to scout around for a bit. How dare you? Elizabeth hurries over towards Sweet's Hell. Always the uninhibited child. <laughs> I suppose that you've grown used to accommodating her whims. What do you think of her? What do I think of her? She's weird. I can't bring myself to hate her. <laughs> I can understand. People always get swept up in her antics without them noticing it. Still, I wonder why she's so uninhibited. I'm her sister, yet I'm quite gentle. Too well behaved at times, if you ask me. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Let's say, I agree. I agree. Bro, battle. <laughs> Margaret smiles happily. What the hell? What is this? Are we raising social links? I got the social link noise. There may be times that indulging her whims can grow exhausting. But please don't let that curdle your opinion of her. Mm. Margaret licks off in the direction Elizabeth ran off to and tries to gauge the time she'll come back over here, giving her a thought to maybe she can make out with you before Elizabeth comes back. What the? Did something happen between the two of them to make her want to secretly make out with you? What the hell? <laughs> Did something happen? Did something happen? Dot 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 dot! You're very kind. I was baiting you shamelessly. You was baiting me? You refrained from asking about the meaningful silence. She baited me, yo! She was trying to bait me! <laughs> well, it's about time we should go check up on her. You head towards Sweet's Hell along with Margaret. Look at that, Margaret be setting you up for them baits! Setting you up for the okie doke. No, uh, I play Ultimax. I played Arena. I seen these baits coming a long way. Oh, hello. Is something the matter? We came to check on you. So it's a Oops. truly wonderful hell. New Teller cakes. The more you eat them, the more your skin crawls from the utter sweetness of it all. Really? Chocolate wayfarers. The ease with which these break apart and melt reminds one of a fleeting human life. Lastly, ghost is Twinkies. Those enraptured by it enter an eternal hell. Exorcism is their only salvation. Those sound delicious. You're over exaggerating things. <laughs> Let's say, uh, that sounds delicious. I mean, I mean, if Elizabeth thinks it's good, I guess I think it's good too. I mean, if she thinks it's good, I gotta agree with it so I can raise her affection. What? Elizabeth seems satisfied, however. I'm glad to see you enjoying yourself. Well then, shall we move on to the next area? That won't do, sister. Whatever else we might be, we are still girls. At least say something like, Aw, these sweets are so cute. Really? Uh, aw, these sweets are so cute. 
<laughs> she had to force that. Not an ounce of true respect for these sweets. <laughs> respect. But never mind that. Why must this expression of cuteness be used regarding sweets? That is how girls are. I learned this from a book called Sweet Special. I have even acquired the spell known as Dessert Stomach. Dessert Stomach? I expect that Marie has acquired it as well. Marie? True, that girl is different from us. She's more genuine. <laughs> Especially those internal screams etched into her stationery. So many words we couldn't have imagined. They're extremely deep, yet they have a mysterious power which makes my heart itch, so that I want to rip it out. What the? I must agree. I've never seen anyone use the word lies so many times in succession. <laughs> Powdered sugar on the moon and mixing it together creates stardust after all. Ignorant masses, call out her name. Solitude at your back, simple honesty in your legs, but your gaze will challenge new heights. Challenge them. Are you ready? The day for the world to change has come. Those who aren't prepared are left behind. Damn. I am a lady, but I'm chic. There's nothing I can't do. Yes, from the depths of my heart. Thank you. So you're saying you're top tier. For some reason, the two of them have begun waging a versus battle. Dude, they... <laughs> you know, they <laughs> they're having a white girl rap battle. A, a white girl bar battle. Oh shit, they got bars. That should do. So, what's your verdict? Yeah, I don't know, man. Y'all was both hot, you know what I'm saying? Elizabeth had those heart bars, but you had those clever bars, you know what I'm saying? I can't decide. I think it's a, oh man, I can't, I can't even choose. Between my sister and I think it's a stalemate. expressed more pathos. We'd like to hear your opinion. A pathos battle? <laughs> that's what it was. That's what we call a rap battle. That's how, that's how white people call <laughs> That's how white people call rap battles. They don't call them rap battles. They call them pathos battles. I think it's a draw, dog. I think it's a draw. Because I'm Randy. Randy Jackson, dog. I, I think it's a draw. Sister, your pathos just now truly pierced my brain. It was a pale shadow of Marie's. Though I must say, you were quite impressive as well. The two of them praise each other. We cannot be satisfied by what we just produced. A girl is nourished by elation. The thumping of one's heart. The thumping of one's heart. I believe that we are somewhat, no, severely lacking in this. Yeah, I think y'all lacking the flow. Y'all got the bars, y'all just need the flow. And then all you need is a hot ass beat in the background. It's possible that our femininity has been so depleted that our pathos can't easily rise from within. That is a possibility. I don't sense any of this elation when I'm with Theo, our master, or Marie. Elation. But what is there to do about it? Play a funky beat! Oh, I think I might incite some elation in you with this. Here comes the ultimate choice. The ultimate choice. Ultimate choice? Person A is asked the question, who would you rather spend an entire day with? Person B or Person C. It's set up so that both the one being chosen and the one making the choice experience the heart thumping. Really? Heart thumping. Hmm. What you looking at me for? And do I look like I know how to make beats? I know this guy on Third Street. Well then, Person A, I ask you this. What? From your point of view, who would be more desirable to spend a day with? Myself or Elizabeth? I thought we were talking about making beats. Oh shit! This is no longer about music, is it? This is a very crucial choice. I can't make that choice. I can't make it. Margaret, Elizabeth, I think I'm supposed to make a choice. Let's say... David, let's say Elizabeth, man. I 
seriously accept your answer. Elizabeth seems happy. Well then, I believe it's about time to take a break on the rooftop. The rooftop? You leave Concession Alley and head to the food court. The food court is on the rooftop? I wonder if that girl's upstairs on the rooftop. The one that's always talking about this boy she likes. The three of you decide to take a rest here. That concludes our request for now. Thank you for your effort. See, Elizabeth, you can get off to this beat. <laughs> now time to announce the results. By delivering a verdict on how much your escorting skills left our hearts thumping. I will go first. <laughs> you were impressive indeed. My time spent with you was more enjoyable by a large degree than touring alone. Really? You were a truly wondrous man, brimming with wonders. I give you an A+. Plus. Elizabeth appears to be thoroughly satisfied. Well then, I'm next. Whether it was because I was in need of a break, or because of your skill at escorting us. Either way, I enjoyed my time here more than I would have thought. I give you a hundred percent. Thank you. Looks as though Margaret is thoroughly satisfied as well. Regardless, you have fulfilled their request. I believe we should return to our posts and... <laughs> Elizabeth? <laughs> yes, sister? I don't know what kind of fate brought us to this world. But it brought me joy. Joy, you say? Joy to the world? Yes, I was able to see you. It's been a while. A while? You're a straightforward, reckless, stubborn girl who always bends others to your whims. You haven't changed since back then. Sister? Even if we are to be separated someday, no matter what fates we strive for, we'll always be sisters. Hmm. I don't truly comprehend what you're saying, but my heart feels overwhelmed with emotion. Why don't we sing that song? Like we used to. The long no song? Ah, uh, yes. That song. I like to hear it, dog. To grant your passionate request, here is the long no song. It is the long no song. Velvet, 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 oh velvet. velvet. My master, My master has a large no. Yo, where's the harmony? <laughs> Yo, dog, I was truly impressed by that performance. That was truly artistic. I, I, that's a yes for me. That's a yes for me, dog. Well then, let us return. Yes, indeed. The two of them seem very satisfied, dog. <laughs> You should go report to the nurse's offices later. Dog. <laughs> we gotta go to the nurse's office. Here we are at the nurse's office. About to redeem our rewards. Da -da 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 -da. You gotta redeem your quest like da -da 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 -da. Escort my sister and I. We get the pathos recorder for this. What the hell is the pathos recorder? Thank you for completing our request. No problem. We spent some exciting times together through the various chance occurrences. This is something that we sisters have selected for you. You may have it. Oh, word. The pathos recorder. What kind of instrument is this? There is also a token of my gratitude. Please accept this as well. Oh, nice. A power charge. Been given a token of gratitude to pass on for my sister as well. A uh, damn. Please take this with you. What do I get now? Mind charge? Aeon Rain. Is that good? Perhaps someday in the future, we sisters would consider ourselves fortunate to spend time with you again. Ah, maybe. 